Hey guys, welcome to Data Science Tutorials and in today's video I will talk a little bit more about the word cloud that we created in the last video. So if you have not seen the word cloud video about how to create a basic word cloud then you can visit the part 1 video and in this video we will uh, take it forward from there and see how we can really you know uh, make it a little bit more meaningful or at least understandable for us and for our audience. And before I move ahead, just a quick information that if you are interested in learning ClickView, uh, then you can uh, visit my channel Data and Tools or if you are interested in learning Tableau, then uh, you can visit my channel BI and Programming Tutorial videos where currently I'm posting some Tableau related videos. All right, let me go back to the R and if you remember, that's the uh, word cloud we created based on the speech uh, given by PM Narendra Modi on the occasion of Independence Day. And if uh, I showed in the last video about how you can really import that speech, uh, the location and everything. So if you have not seen that or you don't have this text document, then I highly recommend that you go ahead and uh, you know uh, get that document first and then get started with next video. All right, the last command we ran yesterday was the word cloud with a little bit more parameters with the uh, setting the colors and stuff like that. And in the next video here, we will talk about some of the next steps and next steps are basically related to understand or to give a meaningful understanding from our data so that uh, we can clearly understand that let's say will if it is currently showing as the biggest or the most frequent word then is it really a most frequent word then what is the frequency is it coming 10 times 12 times 15 times how many times it is really coming so that if any of your end user or let's say management is basically asking all right if you are showing us word cloud and this is how it is coming can you give us the back uh, background data about how many times it is really coming so let's say if that is a need to really audit what visualization you have created then we can you know see in next couple of minutes about how we can really achieve that table and then again create a word cloud out of that apart from that uh, before I move ahead with that, there is one very important uh, operation that is needed based on my previous video where we remove, removed some of these top words like I, V, the, is, all of those things which really doesn't make sense and appears a lot are called top words. And if we have a requirement uh, that there are some custom words which are coming over here, let's say for example, this will or maybe uh, day if that is what you want to remove or land you want to remove then how you can really remove it so for that i'll just show you a quick command i'll just copy this entire piece because that will be remove words command instead of uh, stop words i can specify the number of words so for example let me remove the will and uh, maybe work single quotation will and work let me press control enter and control enter and again create a word called control enter so you will see now the will and work has gone and the next big words are coming bill land good govern talk income tax poor, all of those things which have been said a lot in this speech. So I just wanted to show you uh, how you can really remove some of the words which in your case is not making sense but are not getting removed with the help of the stop words. Then how you can custom, what, then what is a custom way to really remove those words. All right, uh, let's move ahead and see or talk about the next steps. So next steps are basically related, as I mentioned, related to, you know, having a better understanding of our data based on this, based on that word cloud is getting produced. 
and uh, the first step is basically creating a term document matrix uh, which is nothing but uh, telling you about the number of frequencies or the number of times a word has been appeared in each of the row so let me press control enter over here which is nothing but we are creating tdm from this speech which is nothing but term document matrix from the text mining package and passing on the clean corpus that we created so control enter after this let's inspect what this particular object contains so it's very easy it has a lot of rows and columns so we want to see 5 to 10 rows and 10 to 15 columns however you can give whatever you want control enter and as it is mentioning over here already is coming one over here day is appearing here in the 15th uh, document as appearing one time so that's how you know it is it is basically showing you the information let's say you want uh, maybe 10 to 20 and maybe let's say 1 to 10 and control enter you will get much bigger matrix so for example day is coming let's say two times here in the 20 document and then you know based on the words how they are appearing in each of the paragraph i would say so each paragraph is nothing but the document in this case all right uh, just to give you an idea that's how it does after this to perform an operations like uh, sorting and counting the number of rows we need to convert it into a proper object like uh, uh, data frame or a matrix so currently it is a matrix kind of an environment or matrix kind of a uh, you know presentation or the document structure we will first take it as a matrix so control enter and then we want to sort the rows because what we want to know is uh, that our matrix should start with the most frequent words so that we can get an idea so let me press control enter and what it is doing is it is sorting by the rows and we are passing the object we created earlier which is matrix and then decreasing is equals to true which shows that first the most frequent word then the less frequent and so on and so forth let's take a quick look at what have uh, what have been stored over here in this sort by applying the sorted command so head of sorted so it will show us six rows so so as you can see bill is coming 25 times and that's why it is the most frequent word after that land that's why it is coming second then state then good govern need so you can clearly see that now you have a better idea about uh, how the information is coming and how the uh, uh, you know uh, it is getting displayed over here on the cloud so it, it it will give you a very good feeling to your stakeholders or to your uh, counterparts that whatever you are producing is is really based on some scientific thing which is going in the background and not like you know some some magic which is what cloud is doing and producing something to you all right after this uh, to better represent this uh, let's create a data frame out of it so we are creating data frame where we are giving two columns each of the word and then how many how many uh, times it is coming so the first one is basically word and the second one is the frequency as you already know so we are just putting it in a proper format so control enter after this let's take a head of it and press control enter now as you can see the word which is in a proper columnar format 25 the same thing is just that it is a more better representation of the data after this uh, even on that you can produce a word cloud it's just that you need to give a little bit more parameter over here so within the word cloud command earlier we just gave the clean corpus but right now we have to give the word in the first parameter and in the second parameter the frequency earlier it was getting automatically cal calculated in over here and then the minimum same parameters minimum frequency colors random order rotation and all of that that we discussed in the last video so control enter it will going to produce the uh the word cloud for us and you can clearly see that probably it is a much better way and a much better uh, representation where you are giving both the word cloud as well as 
the metrics based on which this word cloud is getting produced. So this gives you as well as your stakeholders a good feeling and uh, basically you know makes your work more solid more solid so that's that's uh, pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and in the next video i will talk about uh, how you can really find the correlation between the words so for example uh, how businessman is really correlated with the bill i mean that's that's really interesting one based on how it has been said by the speech so speaker is really don't know uh, about this uh, what you know correlation and other thing but based on what they are saying we can really figure it out whether pm modi is really talking a lot about bill because businessmen are really re impacted by that or labor or it will improve or it will help i mean all of that interesting thing can be figured it out and it's just a matter of running a couple of commands and you will have a lot of information, a lot of uh, value by doing this uh, analytics on the textual data. So stay tuned for that uh, at, as it is very exciting and I'll meet you in the new video uh, with that topic.